I finally got my own Air Jordan. What? For real? They made me a PE. Uh, no, I know it sounds okay. crazy, Stop but like, no, that, it actually happened. That does sound crazy. Show but us, please. It's real. Up, it's incredible. Okay. That's the bag? 23 on the back. Oh, yeah. These you, are definitely Jordans. What? Huh? Jump me in on the side. Those are definitely New Balances. Are you kidding They're me? They're not. What no, are you no, doing, no, no, bro? No, 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 no. These are my only Air Jordans. I this got a is PE. a piece of paper. Bro, where are you from? How dumb do you think we are? It was an April Fool's joke. Problem is, it's I not funny. I thought I'd trick you. Do I look like I like April? Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Welty. Turn that James. And we have with us here today, Darius and Quentin Richardson, the knuckleheads, two Woo! Jordan brand OGs. I would do the thing. I don't want to bust my thing open. Give myself <laughs> like you, <laughs> <laughs> you know him from the Players' Tribune. You know him from their podcast. We're here to talk their sneaker history. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. First thing we want to talk about, the shoes everybody has on feet. So, Welty, please tell us what you're wearing. New Bounce, once again. Say it with me. Ame Leon Dor. <laughs> mm -hmm. I never owned a pair of New Balance yeah, like in my life. Nine nine threes. But them, these the Mike boys, you know. I think it was Jubilee. Is that what they call it? Jubilees. Yeah, Jubilees. You know, yeah. fresh black boys, fresh That's out the shoe. box. Great shoe. Nike Supreme SBs. Yeah, taking it back old school. Something like. Mm -hmm. Something like today, guys. Dad socks, of course. <laughs> yeah. You know? I'm terrible with the actual names. Like you just said, Jubilees. I don't know. I just, you know, these is the what, these are the 12s, right? Of course. You know, the 12s, and I don't know what they call, but they brand new. These are playoffs, right? <laughs> that's that's, that's what I was about to say. I was like, really? I mean, I, that's that's I, I got nervous. I was like, hold on, wait a second. I just don't know. I don't right. want to get out that's here my and be like, nah, these was wrong. <laughs> wait, is my, is my, would Mike get mad at you if you didn't know the. the Not Mike. Mom. I don't think Mike would care. But I'm well. talking about the community. You know, they're going to call you out like, ah, how you don't know? You've been on Jordan brand so many years, you don't know the numbers and the names. I know the numbers and everything, but the actual names of the different, like, that can get, like, you know. I'm doing Ooh, the Bodega cool. Hokas right now, the Caja Low. You know, you might see me on the trails with some actual trail mix. Are those comfortable? Yeah, what mixing the gore with the gorp. Hoka, what is them? Okay. We're going running. Hoka. 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 It's a new Hoka. brand called Hoka. <laughs> Hoka? Hoka? Yeah. Hoka. Mm -hmm. oh, like That's it. the ACG one, right? I like Kind of a little bit. Yellow, yellow Nike shoes, should man. slap the hell out of it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nike should slap the hell out of it. So we're not it? slapping the hell out of anybody this hey, week. Hey, it's a slap. Before we get into it, I need to, wow. <laughs> need to ask nice. both of you guys, what's the most regrettable sneaker purchase you both made? I haven't bought no shoes, but I'm telling you a story. <laughs> I'm a Nike man to heart, mm -hmm. Jordan man to heart all my life. Back in the day, uh, I just got with Q&M and they just went from Adidas to Nike. So they had like a few Adidas were and they were trying to get me to play on the shoe. So they sent me some Adidas gear, the little what they had left over, and they sent me the Kobe's where it kind of go down the side yeah. and they was all white and I refused to wear them. So one day my grandma was like, you need to go out there and cut that grass. <laughs> I put them brand new all white Kobe's on and cut the grass. The <laughs> mugs was light green when I, oh, <laughs> when I that's the only time I ever wore them. I never bought any shoes since I've been with Jordan Brand. Not one like, time? I'm about to tell you, the only time I've ever purchased shoes was like trying to get like some some Louis Vuitton. This was okay. early in my career when right, I was designing. young and yeah. dumb. <laughs> Young and dumb. The one thing I bought the Yeezys. The Yeezy Louis Vuitton's, right? Okay. I bought okay. about five different pair of them. Now, why? Because they was Yeezys. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, of you course. know, he shot down. I'm like, I'm a red. Come on, Yeezy. exactly. It's like you know Chicago. Boom, shot down. So, like, exactly. I got them for that, but, like, literally did not wear them. I didn't even know how. I had the, the like, the, the, like, the purple, like, pink, maroon, the yeah. kind of multicolor yeah. with all the. I you still know how have to them? Wear that. I used to, no, I, I used to mess with my boy D. Wright, the real right. He was like the young boy, my young yep. little bro. Yep. I used yep. to mess yep. with him like, man, these, this is all your speed. You right. wear the colorful stick different. Right. I can't do that. I literally never wore them. Then you fast forward, like all of this sneaker community stuff come out. I find out that I could get a pretty good coin for them. So I did. And I am like, this tell you how, like, mine was brand new. Mine right, was new, exactly. new. Wait, so Only thing, I just didn't have the box and I didn't have the rest of the, the stuff, like the other, the alternate shoe Paperwork, right. Oh, that, you had the shoe. I had the shoe. Brand new. Brand new. Never been worn. So, you, so you've resold your sneakers? Those. Those, just those. Everything else, trust me. He ain't letting it go. He know. <laughs> he seen so I got by, I got by, I got several stash spots. I got right. storages. That makes sense. Wait, there, yeah. have you? Have you resold your sneakers? My, I got 18s. I, I gave more away. <laughs> Nobody yeah, I, like, bro, like, <laughs> I gave more away to kids. To? But my son is 
13 right now, wearing an 18. And oh, wow. I ain't Everybody never had to shirt my shoes a day <laughs> in my life. Right. Never had to shirt my shoes. I can leave my shoes outside and everybody in the hood be like, oh, no, them D-Miles, can't nobody else wear right. them. All right. That's amazing. All right, let's talk sneaker news. First piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is Nike linking back up with the Kobe Bryant estate to make some more Kobe sneakers. It sounds like we're all happy this happened. This feels like the right thing. Thank you. Yeah. Did you guys wear Nike Kobe's ever in your career or strictly on the Jordan stuff? I unfortunately no. I've always only wore Jordans. Yeah. We're but you're too happy old. to see this. We, uh, we, I am old. extremely but happy to see Kobe, this. I'm Kobe extremely. played against you while he was wearing the Jordans. And that, yeah, one in that game. brief yeah, era. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, like a picture. Yeah, yeah, I got We was, yeah, I got we was out the league when, when Kobe uh, 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 official shoe kind of came. The signature to the stuff league, really. The signature yeah. shoe. Yeah. Like mm. he was finna have one come out and then it got pushed back. Right. But we was gone by then. But yeah. I own about four or five pair of Kobe's. I don't know about my Mr. Here, but okay, me okay. personally. Okay. Okay. I'm four or five and counting. But you're you not know? cutting the grass in them anymore. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. But my I do got some green Grinch ones though. <laughs> hey, <that's laughs> they fit right in. Yeah. Did you guys think that like this wasn't gonna happen when you had heard, you know, that there was I was a I was riff? sad about it, but you know, he's you know, it's a grieving wife and um we understand it's a lot of decisions she has to make. They're the best company to to take care of his legacy and keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. to me. Really a lot bad. of the players were saying too, it was like a short supply of like Kobe's out there and they wanted to play in them, but they, they couldn't find one. Like, the yeah. They went with the, the Kobe's scared of playing in them because like, they don't have any more. The they yeah. had like, they supposedly yeah, had more and more stock than anybody. But I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure that everybody, you know, all all athletes and players are glad to see this yeah. continue on. The only thing I don't want to see when it comes to this marriage getting back um, is them to make a new shoe. Mm. I think they should just keep it to everything that's already like made right now. Like, because Kobe is such a meticulous person, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's hard to ever design something new without him Approving. having any type yeah. of approval. Yeah, you Same right. thing with like a Virgil per se, both the rest, both their yeah. yeah. Next bit of sneaker news. The other week, there was a U-Haul that was found full of stolen Yeezys mm. in Portland, over $200,000 worth of mm. shoes. That remind me when fellas used to hit the train. <laughs> Niggas know you ain't getting no goddamn shoes out the train, man. Them hoes were fake. Faggot, man. 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 <laughs> Come over there like we got the new guys or whatever. <laughs> so you, got, you guys remember like the sneaker man? Sneaker man. <laughs> sneaker man. See, that's the thing about me. When I, when I was in the hood and that was going on, Pops when we $50. Yeah. The coolest shoes I could get was Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, everything before that, it was all XJ 900s and Pro Wings. First pair of J's I ever got was free when I was playing AU. Now my pops, no. The most expensive shoes he ever bought me was the Rodman's, whatever they, I think they cost like 82 bucks. Right, backwards check. Backwards check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was blessed, Mama Miles blessed me. She kept these big feet <laughs> coated, you know what I'm saying? I had the best of the best, so. Uh, I'm sure it was like hard for you to even try to buy shoes back in the day. No, it, it wasn't because. Well, I mean like the size, like to find like a pair like size. No, cause like, when the, when the Jordans came out, you know, the, we got the spot. It was 118 out of the whole order they was ordering and coming. So I could come and pick my stuff up a day before and get my 18s because nobody else in the city in the area had the, <laughs> these was big boys. Trying to get them aside. Aside. So That's I kind of was blessed with the big feet and to get good shoes. So it worked itself out. Yeah, as far as this, um, whoever, you know, did this uh, per se heist. <laughs> is it one person working this? How many people is in on this play type situation? Ocean's Eleven type of thing, you think? You know, it's a big business. You 200,000, they said it was a 280, yeah. whatever. Yeah, close to over a quarter million dollars worth of shoes. Um, and we know that these are easy, so they're going to sell. You know, you got to watch your staff, man. Uh, it's been going on for years. It's just, you, you guys know, ever you had shoes see, stolen from you? You see a little bit more footage. I've never had shoes stolen from me, but I mean, everybody knows about it now. The, the whole thing that was going on at Nike over here yeah. with the PEs, mm -hmm. like when it, like, once oh, social yeah, media that? came yeah, out, it's I mean, kind of like what got those guys in trouble because for so many years, you know, like we would have PEs come out and they, pop up at different stores or wherever they pop up and it's like how i ain't giving none of mine away yeah you know what i'm saying i don't it was know one time i was at the mall and i 
I see you it. You sent me the picture. And I'm like, bro. Of the, of the curious, uh, <laughs> I'm York in Nick Vegas. I was in eights. Vegas. And then to like, you know, PJ Tucker's a guy. He, yeah. He's direct message. Thaddeus Young, too. You know, some of these guys, they've been able to like, they knew who to talk to. And like, oh, yeah. these dudes have shown me pictures of my shoes that I don't even have you, no more. You saw that with, it was like with PJ and Carmelo. And Carmelo was like, how did you get yeah, my shoes? Like, <laughs> what was happening is like, you know, they called to say, all right, make 20 pair of these for Q and then, you know, Nick colors. Yeah. They'll make 25. Mm-hmm. All right. Call the factory, 20, right factory do and that. Then, yeah. yeah, and yeah. like so, I think the story that broke it was when Melo had some all red 11s, 11s. and they were those? never ever made. And like somebody popped on the internet, like, "Yo, I got the." He like, "Wait, how?" So, gentlemen, you know, it's an honor. For me, first of all, just being a fan of y'all's NBA and lifestyle career. You know, I'll, I'll start with you, Darius. What's your first sneaker memory? Like, when did sneakers start mattering to you? When I got to junior high school, it just was different. Like, it started mattering even in the game. But man, I got to be fresh with the fresh socks. Exactly. Like, I didn't go to junior high, no. We just had elementary school. I got you. Right? I got so, you. I got you. And, well, for me, I started getting talked about. Cause I was wearing the, the not so cool shoes. The pro at first. wings and the pro gym, wings, like XJ nine hundred. So like, mm-hmm. I didn't get out of them. Maybe the, the around seventh, eighth grade. Okay. I was late to that party. Right, right. AAU kind of really gave you your swag. Oh man, oh most definitely. I was, I was yeah. listening. So most you definitely. get good at basketball. That's when it changed. Like, all right. I may not come in here with the Jabos and the and the you know what I'm saying and but the guest court, team, but like right. not even on the court, but like off the court, I'm about to be I'm about to be apparel down. Like now I'm getting Nike sweats right. and I'm yeah. still, I ain't okay. jeans right. and I ain't collared, but I'm still I'm sports fly. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm ball, I got ball player sweats. And there you, you go. Know, you know, like with the AAU teams, you know what team they sponsored by because they jerseys and they Everything. shoes and socks be like. Phew. Nike, y'all got them. Of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. Right. You guys signed a Jordan brand early on. Can you tell me that story about showing up to camp with the and one gear on and Michael was like, what are we doing here? First of all, we, we, we get drafted. We knew all the Nike guys. We know George Ravelin. Like, we know mm-hmm. his wife, kids, family. Mm-hmm. The like, we, we part of the family. So we just thought it was a no brainer that we was gonna be with Nike, but you know, we coming out, it's business involved. They weren't giving big contracts out for yeah, shoes right. and all that stuff like they doing now or none of that stuff. We got the yeah. N1 tattoo right. on us. I got mine because of Q and Larry Hughes, but. Larry. You know, we, we get down there, we N1 down. And we, we coming out there and we finna play against Mike. And the whole time we playing, he just he just letting us have it. And you know, we feeling, we all down and stuff. We feeling, he said, hey man, why is y'all wearing this stuff? And we told him the story that we couldn't get with Nike. It was negotiations and all that stuff. The next morning, our agent called us and like, man, what did y'all do? <laughs> like, what like, did I y'all do? Jordan <laughs> sent the contract over. I'm finna fax it to you now. Like, get rid of all that stuff. We left everything at the hotel. <laughs> that's, it. One. that's it. Everything. We ain't see it no more. Never I ain't see back. an and one nothing. And then yeah. next thing you know, my grandmama, mama, everybody, oh, everybody man. in my family wearing Mike. <laughs> it be like that. Do you guys remember um, when you both got to do like your first pair of like player exclusive sneakers or getting those? And that wasn't something we got to do. Yeah. No. We didn't even know it was coming. Yeah. It was. That's what. That was part of the biggest part that made it even more cold. I had nines, the all black ones with the little white part at the bottom. Yeah. So they were like basically the regular shoe. Correct. But then they had the my number stitched on Head the back, back and the yeah. clip of yeah. colors. Yeah. Right. So that was like yeah. the first kind of like oh you know, before they really went all the way PE. That mm. was. Like the little, we did a touch. touch. Did yeah. the little number and the, uh-huh. the They changed the number instead of 23. They put our number. Like though. when that happened, I was like, yo. And you had no idea it was gonna happen. It just mm-hmm. showed up for you. No, hey, and they sent they sent the they sent us about uh, several mm-hmm. pair of those shoes. Cause I remember that was a pair of shoes that I ended up giving to D Wade, and D Wade ended up playing in the um, summer league. Game. Mm. I heard you got in trouble though for giving uh, Corey Maggette the the Jordans. So the first year that they started the Jordan brand, right? was the year before we got drafted. And we always felt like, cause it was a small contingency of us. We felt yeah. like we was like an elite Navy yeah, yeah, Seals team. Like we was like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. We was like, yeah. right. To me, I was, I was but, like, what? So we was like, when we found out, cause like I said, when he first told, we didn't know it was like gonna be like, y'all about to be Jordan, bro. We, it didn't exist. Cause Nike was paying yeah. us, but we was, 
Under. And it, it wasn't. Right. It just wasn't what it was. Right. I don't even know that he knew it was gonna be. You just thought you were getting like cool sneakers or whatever. Yeah, you thought you were just gonna. Right. Right, look, y'all ain't. When they said that, we thought we were just gonna get a few joys. Right. We didn't know we were finna start Nobody, doing like, commercials. It wasn't like and, that. Yeah. That's why I like, <laughs> had to see that it was stuff. like that. It was like, oh, hold on, like, hold on, now, now, like, wait a minute, like. <laughs> You know Mike chose us, right? Exactly. <laughs> like, time out, like, nah, like facts, do you though. know how this happened? Like, exactly. like, like my favorite player forever said, hey, hey, I got bring you. him with me. Come, like, on, come, on, young fellas. Like, come like, on, young fellas. Yeah. And then we about to get all this special stuff. Exactly. Like, when I say, like, because you got to understand, back at this time, Mike still had, it was Jordan Brand and it was 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Mm. Two, three was, like, dress clothes. Yeah. 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 Walkers. Okay. Like, the brown like, shoes and stuff bro, like that. when I yeah. say the amount, of, I had... You gotta imagine that we got one of every single item that was made. Yeah, amazing. Do you imagine how much no, stuff that shoot. is coming? <laughs> trying, trying to give it to people. So what thing what happened with Corey was that he had a chance to be a part of that. Like D said, they weren't paying big contracts and wasn't money, so it was like we were the same exact size, me and Corey, fifteen. So it was like you know he Nike, so he still can wear Jordan, yeah, exactly. you know. So it was like I started getting the peas and stuff, and then. Corey like, man, bro, let me, cool, boom, boom, boom. Right. So then Corey out there doing his thing. I, I get the call first, unknown numbers, like, yo. <laughs> he like, yeah, this M. He can't, he can't do that. I'm like, damn, <laughs> I gotta go tell him, fuck, no, like, yo, man. You gotta take the shoes back? Nah, he still right. gonna have them, but yeah, like, you right. just can't play them in the game. Don't do it in like, public. That's what it is. Does it get you upset, either of, of you, when you somebody puts this PE for sale? No, it's, it's it's the game. You know what I'm saying? Like you, that's the shoe game. The shoe game been like that for a long time. It's just now with social media and stuff, we can see it more. It's not doing no physical harm to me. It mm. ain't taking no money out of my pocket. That's yeah. right. Once yeah. you guys started getting the exclusives, were you able to ask, like, I want this specific model? Or, or did you ever yeah. have that type of relationship? Yeah, we had a booklet. We can order the families. They, they sent us. But in terms of, like, the exclusive colorways and stuff. Yeah, they sent us season boxes. Mm -hmm. Like, season box. You get four big TV boxes, and this for spring, summer, winter, fall. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So all together, you they get come, 16 they come boxes season. throughout yeah. the year. Right. Right. It's same about time. this they tall. Full of shoes. The way it was, when we were there playing, they would send out, you know, regular shoes uh, before tra training camp and like right at the end of the summer, like mm -hmm. you get to see, mm -hmm. all right, y'all play and go play in these shoes and then you tell me which ones feel the best and that's what we're gonna do your PE. Right. Now, I was smart. I always wanted a variety. So pull my number, I said, I pick the best two I like and then I wait. And then when the PEs come, Ah, this one hurt my foot. <laughs> I need to get that Thank one. So then I'd be like, oh, but when you do this one, all right, say like I'm with the Phoenix. All right, that one was the one. Like, do this one in purple and white Gosh. predominantly. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm, I was, you, you know what I'm saying? I was jugging the stencil, but I you see. know. Anything else, like if these came or anything that came in your box, yeah. and you wanted that, you could say, hey, let me get four more pair of those. These ain't no peas, but I'm about to play in them. Yeah. Like, and they might okay. tell you like, hey, don't plan these uh, until such and such and such day, cause they ain't out yet. Yeah, exactly. Then we go watch. We 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 was we was lame at first. We go not play in them, but then we go look on TV and Bibby got them on. Bibby was the not one. Not playing around. Bibby was the one. He was not gonna wait on nothing. He didn't right. care what nobody said. <laughs> he put them on. He wanted to be the first one. We used to go to the mall and I. So that's what we used to do. <laughs> we used to go to the mall. Shoot the foot action, shit. right? Go right. to the mall, just stand in the shoe store. Stand. Shut him down. <laughs> Yawning exactly. and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> people don't gotta realize, man, it's, it's different being with Jordan Brand because it's the most sought out shoes mm -hmm. like ever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you mentioned Bibby. I mean, you know, people think about you know all these Jordan Brand athletes over the years: Ray Allen, uh, Chris Paul, Melo. Was there kind of like tears a little bit when it came to like when if you were part of you know Bibby and Ray got like. The exclusive treatment, and of then and, and then like other players would kind of get Ray? shoes. But Ray, the was, Hall of Fame out of all out. Everybody got what they got. Ray got more because Ray was on teams that went further, and they were knowing that they were gonna go further. Yeah, when he true. with the Heat, when he with the Celtics, they can plan this. And he, then he gets to come back right. and get a ring edition shoe. Like that's yeah. why you think right. he got. They treated everybody yeah. the same, yeah. but the people that got more. Mm -hmm. 
They teams went further. When the playoffs came out, they gave me the new 21s that year in custom. I was mm-hmm. like, damn, I ain't seen what this be like because I ain't been last in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nah, that's real. Now you look at Ray, that's he real. going the distance, coming back Facts. for ring ceremony games. Hitting like, he's coming back when mismatch those and these. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, he had the same. That Hall of Fame box the, was like, crazy. I, like, I tell everybody, <laughs> yeah. Ray is the best. He, he's at the top of the list because of those reasons, because of the, the title runs, the accolades. And then he had the colors, too. Seattle colors? What? Boy, what? Stupid. Yeah, it was Ridiculous. on the Bucks. Ridiculous. Even Milwaukee. Yeah. And then Ridiculous. when I was with Phoenix, when I was with the Clippers, like this shit was yeah. like, these are like. When you went to the Clippers, you showed up. Yeah. Uh, I'm Cleveland. Cleveland. Orange. 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 Like, man, these are shit that crazy. you don't even see nothing like this ever, Jordan. They never made. So like it was like them cool grays when they that was like really the first PE. Think about it. That was like the first alternate color shoot it was. Like, what is this? Black yeah. or white, where everybody lost their whole mind. Whole I know when we first seen them, we was like, <sighs> I was upset at first. Because <laughs> I wanted those. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, like when they sent them, it was like, fuck is this? <laughs> then it was kind of like, you know, after, after you warmed up to it and you saw the reaction, but it like when I first got them, my true, like, I was like, they cool, but they not the ones I wanted. <laughs> they came later, but I was like, why did those come first? Yeah, I had so many PE. Do you have a favorite PE, like, of a, all out of all of them? Mine is the, the Cleveland one. Cleveland? Yeah, okay. Cleveland. Nice. I remember mean, when I opened the box, I, it was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was this, <laughs> the shiny orange, mm-hmm. you know, like, and then it had the light blue number 21 on the back. I'm like, these mocks is crazy. Yeah. That's hard. Yo, so you had a lot. I mean, your, eight, your eights are legendary. I feel like that's like a grail for a lot of people. And that's not sure. even like, my most comfortable pair to play in was a 13. So when okay. I say 13s, I had crazy PEs in Phoenix with the 13. Mm-hmm. I had all white and orange, all white and purple ones, all black ones. Then when I got to Orlando, like they actually released my shits, both of the pairs. Yeah. Blue and black 13s right. y'all see now, right. the white and blue ones, that those were my that. magic yeah. PEs. They just discarded my name and all that for, you know, different <laughs> Did, they, did they at least send you a pair when they when they came? I, I get everything. Yeah, okay. I'm about to ask you the question. I'm cool with that, pair? so I, it was just, for me it was cool when those, when both, when both pairs came out, I got them all for my kids and it's like, I felt like y'all wearing my shoes. And when I see anybody wearing them, that's in my mind, you wearing my shoe. I tell you a story. Jordan Brand, we have the uh, it's like the Board of Governors thing mm-hmm. where you yeah. go. It's, I call it the family reunion. That's really what it Both. is. It's yeah. family reunion. So the first night celebration is like you got themes and stuff. You wear your favorite pair of J's with your outfit. Mm-hmm. I wore the white and blue 13. Every pe- every per- oh my god, it, like the, I'm talking about these are the execs. The yeah, people yeah, like, they didn't forget. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That I even did. Next thing you know, a few months later, what happened? Black they came out. Mm-hmm. They released them. <laughs> they was like, look, that, that sparked the light bulb in somebody. Right, it be like that. And they released them. So now Michael Jordan has, it's safe to say, have done a lot for y'all on y'all lives mm-hmm. as grown men yeah. and as basketball players. What is y'all relationship with MJ now today? Man, that's still the GOAT. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the funniest thing. Like, people be like, man, you talk. Like, I've had MJ number for so long, and I've never called that man. Never. That's and real. I won't call that That's man. real. Not when not I not see that man, it's like, that's Michael Jordan. Like, I'm not yeah. about to be on his phone just randomly for what? calling him. Yeah. Like, when I see him, he's still the only dude that I get starstruck with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No matter how many times I see him, no matter how long I've been with the brand. 20 years later. Yeah, yeah. it's still oh, like, straight, man, still walking walk like, like Bruce you, Leroy with the glasses. Straight, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Yeah, I'm yeah, right. Me. Now that's yeah. real. And it be time, like, you know, we chopping it up, we hanging, whatever Bobby. we doing, it's just like, I be sitting there like, don't fuck this up. You know what I'm saying? There still be a little yeah, moment exactly. where you be like, Sweaty palm dog, I'm doing something that people would die to do right yeah. now. That's I'm a fact. chilling with That's this a man, fact. like in a relaxed and situation. And you play ball too, so it's like as a ball player. It's I like, grew up I'm, in Chicago, yeah. come on. Like, yeah. He's Michael Jordan, so you're not going to see him all the time. Amen. Or nothing like that, mm-hmm. but every time we see him, it's right back where we left off. I love that. You know what I'm saying? He, I love he, that. he shows us nothing but the but love and you know he respect us man and that's all we can ask for from him from the go you know what i'm saying and we appreciate it every single day i know me my family him and his family Mm -hmm. we all appreciate it hey guys uh every single week here on the show we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they just said last week he wasn't here so he (laughs) as decided by the youtube commenters we make them switch out their shoes for something awful this week it is trinidad for calling those Uh, uh, threes the poor man um, i'm in here so we do have some actually it's a skip (laughs) <laughs> the reason why it's a skip is because I'd rather 
um, get another pair of I'm a Meniere's. Okay, this feels like a stand-in. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want to say it's a the, poor man. With the Nike Air on the back. Why do, why do y'all do this to me? I put Ooh. on these great... Oh, oh, oh I remember them. You know what I'm saying? I don't First understand all, why I they can't do this even, to this me. This shoe is so terrible. I can't tell if it's a left foot or right foot shoe, right? <laughs> Here's the other one. <laughs> why, why do they do this to me, what man? Is, what Bro, you, they got the fake jump, man. What's your guys' reactions being Jordan brand guys and seeing fake? No, but seeing fake Jordans out in public. It's That's crazy. to me. Some of the videos you see. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Crazy, I'll tell you, you want to hear the best story about fake Jordans? Like, yes. listen, so I'm I'm in the NBA. Literally in the no. NBA. Y'all know the, one of the craziest sneaker dudes ever in the history of the league. That's a fact. Gilbert Arenas. We playing for the Magic. Gilbert just getting through with his, with his Adidas deal. So he's he's doing his free agent sneaker Legendary thing. time. He's like, I'm about oh. to just go crazy. This yeah, don't you come on Double bag, big, big black bags of shoes, right? Mm-hmm. So he got he got hella Jordans and everything. So he punched him. He's like, I got to check with the Jordan, man. You know, some of these stuff be frosted. <laughs> that man <laughs> came in there with some colors. I was like, bro, this is not yeah, right. that, brother. <laughs> he's like, see, see, that's why I'm checking with you. Do them to the side. He bought some other. Like, yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, Gil was so handmade. Everything y'all see from him. Is authentic. He is. <laughs> you saved wait, him, wait. You didn't. You, you, you didn't want to like maybe just like. I wasn't like, even thinking of like, 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 like letting him wear. I was right, just right, like, right. I was keeping it real. And I'm like, nah, nah, bro, that ain't real. it. <laughs> that ain't that ain't it. Nah, so fellas, we also do a segment on the show. It's called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Mm-hmm. Drip meaning it looks good. Flip meaning that you resell it, and Skip meaning that you don't rock with it at all. Our first sneaker in Drift Flipper Skip is going to be the Air Jordan 1 Georgetown. Y'all are Jordan guys. This is a real shoe. This is not a prank. Um, D, I'll start with you. Is this a drip? Is this a flip? Is this a skip? Oh, yeah, them always drip, no matter what color they are. Yeah, the retro one is my favorite. <laughs> drip. Okay. can't go wrong with you. Can wear, okay. you can wear them suits, wear and suits and everything. Right. I was about to say, y'all done yeah. wore so many suits and Jordan's <laughs> outfits. Like, uh, nobody yeah. can tell y'all different. I have some bad history with the Jordan one. happened <laughs> last time I wore a pair, but I still like these quite a bit, so it's a trip. Okay. I think these are really good, but I just can't pitch myself wearing them, and I know other people want them, so it's like a flip. Made. This is, a, I mean, this is a drip. Um, I, I just love Georgetown, the school. You know what I'm saying? Their coach, Alan Iverson. I actually, I got to see this shoe in person um, the other, um, just recently in um, Nashville, Tennessee at a store called Soho Gallery, black owned sneaker store. Moving forward, we got our Polaroid times Nike SB. Well, T, I'm gonna start with you, sir. Yeah, I, no. I wanna, I wanna, like, I feel like this sounds like a skip. Say how you feel, brother. I feel like this shoe's like, it's like 90% of the way there of What's like, the 10% that you don't like? Of liking it, but, uh, like, Polaroid's such a classic brand, but sometimes when you just toss it on it, it kind of looks like something you'd buy at, like, Urban Outfitters. So, it's a, it's, a, it's a skip, almost, almost, almost drip, but skip. On screen, it look good. I gotta see it in person. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, it'll look a little fakish in, in reality. I probably skipped them. Okay, cute. How you feel, brother? I like the colors, but me wearing them, I probably would not. I don't. You can't do put a fit together with those. Too many colors. Too many colors for me. I like the, you know, the dunks, but I, I would skip this color just because I'm not like a colorful dude. Same them Brandon Dunn. I feel the same way as well, T. These are like almost there. Cool Polaroid collaboration, but I'm not Gaga over them. It's a skip. Okay, what to call it? Um, I, I want well, it's definitely a skip. Uh, for me. Anytime that the best part of the shoe is the inner sole and like the things that you can't see, I was like, bro, y'all just didn't understand the assignment. The white part, it just didn't yeah. do it for me. Yeah, it's that, like, that, that it's threw like me what are y'all too. doing? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Moving forward in shoes, we got Jordan guys here. Air Jordan 36, black infrared. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to hoop in these. This is going to be my first one. <laughs> do so. you guys still get excited over like the new Jordan every year or are you kind of like, I have you missed find a few like years. Cr- I was cr- underwhelmed a year or two, but like these last few have been fire. Wait till you get them. Nah, like, bro, I, I, those are I, I really crazy can't wait. comfortable. The designs were actually comfortable. The look of them were in, but the, mm-hmm. they were comfortable. Okay. Right? Be I, careful, I, Mike's gonna call you right now if you call this. I like Never. the look. Uh, put when they finally put one together, it'd be just so different than what you usually see. And this is just a prime example of and the, and the color waves they got of this shoe. Is this yeah, a this is drip. Total drip. Okay, okay. Uh, Welty. I actually think that like the, the execution of taking the original infrared mm-hmm. six colorway, one yeah. of the greatest Air Jordan colorways of all yeah. time, and putting it on a modern shoe and having it not look corny mm-hmm. is like a huge win for this. So I think it's a drip. Okay, Brendan. 
All that said, I'm just not the guy who's going to be wearing a performance <laughs> basketball sneaker. Well, you're not, not an athlete, the guy so I get be, it. <laughs> I'm not an athlete. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You're so, not a basketball athlete. Okay, you, if you have a that. body, you're an athlete, right? Thank you. I might have to make those on 2K. I like those. Skip. Okay. Oh, you just said that just to spite Jordan, huh? Okay. <laughs> nah, this, I mean, this is a drip. Um, I'll, this colorway, like you said, well, yep. to execution, incredible. Yep. I can't, I'm probably going to buy them as soon as we leave here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I really want to hoop in these. Like, I'm Good going enough. straight to court with them. And guys, we also do outfits on this segment. I don't think it's any better outfits to do in the world than Quinn Richards and Derek Smiles outfits. <laughs> oh. Outfit number mm. one. Woo! Swear. Guys, talk to us here. Jordan this, 17 launch? Do rag. Head to the back. Long chain. D miles chain. chain, you know Jordan sweat you all the way down with the Jordan you drip. Came under Iverson, then. you had to have big chains when you first exactly. come. Lead. That's your first starter kit accessory right. for the mm. league. You right. gotta get a chain piece. Might not have enough money to get that watch right away, but you got to get a chain and, and look. One thing about Jordan, we used to wear every single thing Jordan made. And that right. was back when the and we just put it in our That's what I'm like. You know what I'm saying? I got a wood them on. It's comfortable. It's baby yeah. shoe, navy. You know they sent do rags. They sent everything from draw socks, do rags, tank tops, do rags. Dress school, cologne, do rags, man, everything that you're Jordan fan, You're made. a fan of the Michael Jordan cologne? Yeah, I did. I had a, about a couple of bottles of that. Jordan is the GOAT, but Allen Iverson's fashion, is there any way that Allen Iverson or Reebok could have, like, swayed y'all? I was from, with Reebok. Did it have anything to do with Allen Iverson? Because I'm more speaking I was on like, Adler, Adler, under Allen Iverson brand. They was doing something uh, like Jordan and putting it on the brand, so they was picking different players to go into this brand. So I, when I switched from Jordan and went to Reebok, I was under Allen Iverson. You had the G units. Cause that's how I felt. I felt like when I saw y'all fashion come yeah, in, I had the like, G units and the shine quarters and <laughs> crazy. It's right. like, it okay. was no okay. way, and they like the same time. Cause remember, our agent, you know, Reebok was trying yeah. to get. Yeah, they, they were trying to get. I you? took the money. They was throwing more money. I, I stayed. Yeah. I, I didn't care. Cause yeah. I felt like this was my rationale, right? Okay. I was like, look, literally, if you know me, you know I don't wear nothing but Jordan. Right, right, right. Like, free is for me, and it's. Top flight shit, so what you mean? <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna wear no Reebok stuff. That was what I felt, like I was gonna resent it. Like I can't, like okay, I'ma like when I get the cash, but then I'ma forget about I got the cash cause that ain't gonna be what I'ma see every day. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to see this gear and I'ma be disappointed. So I must ask guys, drip, flip or skip? I'll start with you, D. Skip that. Okay, cute. <laughs> Man, this was drip back then. It's not no more, but you yeah. ain't gonna tell me. About we right, now, fly. right now. I about feel like, fly. Oh, we was dripping. Time capsule. We this was drip. Time okay, capsule yeah. moment. This is like yeah. I put this underground back in 2000. I pulled it out like, boy, y'all was a when we this hit, NFT right here, man. This is an NFT. Hey, man. when we hit that red carpet. Hey man, we was Yo, Jordan see, like, down, man, look, we like, smiling. Chain, we don't feel yeah. like the, 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 that's Icy. why you see how far my jacket is. Come on, man, this the fit right Y'all here. I'm gonna see this chain today. You feel? I'm about to get this off. <laughs> <laughs> and I had them fresh 17s on. That's on. what we thought those was our shoes. And we you, had the commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them was our shoes. Right. This was about that. that was a What'd blessing you, too. To this day, them the briefcase. What you do with all the briefcases? You still have them? I used to keep clippers in there. That was like my money. I used to keep money in there. For like a little Jordan tool bike, all type of nuts and bolts in it, pieces like man. You got a drill in there? Yeah. <laughs> no, really? the 17s was incredible. Bro, you gotta understand, bro. Incredible. Like, that was our first commercial. We mm -hmm. had Spike Lee shoot the commercial. Black like, and white. Yeah. You had Guru on the we music. Was on the music. Yeah. 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 Oh, like, wow. We had trailers, bro. Like we like. And it you know, he says all the Jordan and Spike Lee commercials. And these so, our shoes, know, bro. Just talking crazy. about. Nah, it Nobody is. came when they came out with the shoes. The little CD came in, it's got us on the cover. Yes. Like me, yes. him, Mike, yes. Finley, and like Ben, be like, these are shoes. Back, and they were $200, these are Mike. $200 sneakers. Trust me, I know, I bought them. Well, 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 see, I didn't ask Oh, them. trip. Brendan? Yeah, that plus the chains. <laughs> she put a little I ice say, in his face. He just started twerking. Y'all came into the league when being fly and playing basketball mattered the most to me. Damn near yeah. more than... Shit went in the game sometimes it felt like so yeah. I was I'm just thrown off so drip Outfit number two Hey mama Who? Come Look on Look at Lil Durr and j is that, is that that Bo Jackson I got on? I wear yes. them 8's on I yeah. see that yeah, You got them 8's on for oh, sure yeah. are, those, are those Jordan jeans? Yeah Might, might be <laughs> Wait is them the 8's though with the 21 on the side though is the question his, I can't see yeah, yeah, he had the 20. We had That's those with the 21 and yeah, 3 on the side. Like, we had them like, like, like With that Bo Jackson. Oh, I'm drippy right there. Come back. on, man. This, this is a definitely, WNBA game, I think, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, we used to always go to them, man. This is definitely a support. Support the WNBA game. I've never seen this picture before. This I've 
never seen picture, this picture man. before. That's it looked like Lil Sam yeah, got on the either the Indiana cousin, jersey or the, the, the... That's a dope picture. That's right a great pick. But yeah, I'm, I'm drippy, you know, the, the Raider hat on. Chain on. is nearby. You know I see the chain. Like <laughs> Just in case. You told me, because you, you can't tell because the pants are covering it, but the fact you're wearing one of your yeah. PE sneakers, you... That blows my mind, so that's a that's a trip. Yeah, because that, that was definitely the shoe we got for the black jersey that the little kid have on yeah. in the back that we used to play with. Mm, right. All drip. Yeah, absolutely. Especially we're supporting the WNBA. I love that. Yeah. I mean, it was a trip, even if it was WNBA, but the fact that it's all encompassed and Mama is there, come on. Yeah. Man. Mama! Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Last but not least in our outfits, let's bring it back to current day. Hey. Oh. Come on now. Hey, that's oh, a chain. I was drunk. <laughs> that's a chain. I that that got Jordan the... thing you see is a, is, it's a, it's a piece. That's a Don C. J. And I just got, got yeah, This I just... is me really showing some shit right now. I don't really do that. I don't really do yeah. that a lot. No this colors is, in there. This is stepping outside of my whole you dig. I'm usually sweatsuit shot. Y'all trying to be grown and adult right there. Yeah. I mean, looking at this picture, honestly, you know, compared to what we just looked and everything that we spoke about, you know, it's like to see the growth of y'all and the success of y'all show. It shows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all grown ass men. You know what I'm saying? Definitely look like, especially from the grays in my bed. <laughs> you know, you know. I mean, it's all cute on my sacks. Drip flipper skill. This is a drip. Just because, like you said, the thing I like about it the most outside, I mean, I'm, I'm, my, my gear is, is, is stupendous. I'm fly. But, like you said, the the test of time, like, you know what I'm saying? There's yes, a lot sir. of homeboys and partners that come in this game, they don't be solid no more. Amen. Me and my dog still ride to the wheel falls. Amen. Like, Amen. I can say anything to him, he can say anything to me. So that's the part I like about the picture, because it's a lot of dudes that, that, that be down, don't stay down, and we, we ain't, ain't none of that in here. Amen. Yeah, drip for me, I, I definitely think this is a dope picture. Them snake skin jumps too. Uh, Those yeah. snake skin yeah. them too. Come on. You know, just being with my brother, both of us drippy like how we usually be Jordan down and polo down or something like that. You know. You can't beat that with a bat. And I had the Jordan neck piece on. Like, that was an addition that came later on. Jordan I still have it. I still have it. I don't wear it much, but it's there. Brandon Dunn. Yeah, I mean, just, just like you said, the brothership through the years, especially with the Jordan still on feet 20 years later. I love that. Mr. Drip. Uh, well, T. Uh, those top three Jordan ones are like one of two shoes that Jordan Brand has ever sent me, and I gave <laughs> on memories. And I gave them to a coworker who completely cooked them into the ground. Oh, good um, job! Where are your kicks? You guys said celebrating the success of you know the product that you guys created. Being that we do this, I totally you know get that vibe and respect that. Wait, we don't have any awards yet. No, <laughs> but the fact that you you know we have a show. Drip. Yeah, <clears throat> drip. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, first of all, drip off top. You know, but like I said earlier, I mean, it's just amazing. Like when we go back through these pictures, I love to go back through these pictures. I could see your 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 growth through your fashion. It's a, it's amazing to see. You know, we wish you more, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep leveling up. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing it or whatever, because it's amazing to see, man. Guys, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one nice. from Gift Awaka saying, all the way from Cyprus. I've been watching this show for the past four years, and I just want to say, keep up the good work, guys. FSR is the most entertaining, informative, and lit show in sneaker culture. Thank you for that. Yeah, lit. Yeah. Matt M. Saying, I'll take it. Currently <laughs> enrolled in the Sneaker Essentials program. I've been watching for the show for a couple of years now, and I find myself going back to rewatch past episodes with my newfound appreciation for sneakers. This is my favorite show. Also, shout out Trinidad for Cam James. Hmm, Never forget. Zal Jacob Sarad says, if there was an FSR Funko, I would buy Dad, Wealthy, and Brendan in that order. Wow. Tour time. Tour time. Project off the ground. Thank you for watching. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Wealthy. James. Thank you for having me. Knuckleheads. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy a six for my kids. Bought a seven for my chick. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Dad here, Trinidad James. Man, this is another season. We're 12 seasons in. That's 100-plus episodes. That means if you've already saw 100-plus episodes with us, you're subscribed. And if you're not, you need to be subscribed. And if you don't know any better, subscribe. You know how upset I get when I hear that people aren't? It's like, you're watching this and you didn't subscribe yet? Like, what? 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 Just please. But even if you've only watched one episode, or two episodes, or three episodes, or four episodes, Subscribe, please. Subscribe. Do it. Subscribe. Subscribe.